Hi kids, this is Miss Smith. Next week is May 5th and it will be Cinco de Mayo, a celebration of the Mexican culture. And what I'd like us to do is a, a sombrero. You could do a guitar, you could do um, the mocker, I forget what they're called. Anyway, so what I did is a lesson on the sombrero. So here's a sombrero that was done a couple years ago with the kids. And then I made a copy of it. And then I just added these two paper lines on the sides. And then if you staple it like this, you can wear it like a little hat. Look at that. Um, here's a suggestion for parents too, if you're running out of paper, you can order this on um, Amazon for about $8. And it just has um, foldable, pull out construction paper and this can be used for anything. It's really a good weight. It's for drawing, painting, coloring, anything. It's called a mixed media by Canson. It's very good quality paper. And that way you can just have it laying around the house and you don't have to order bunches of paper. Anyway, <clears throat> so I did a couple samples and different designs. So here's one that says Mexico on it. We're gonna use lots of circles and triangles. These are little um, pom-poms or hanging down. And then on this side, I just did a different kind of one, but again, the circles and the triangles. We're going to use the colors of green, white, and red, which are the colors of the Mexican um, national flag. But really, you could color yours any um, color that you would like. <clears throat> and um, here's some that have turned into little headbands. So you can see this one's got a rainbow of colors here and here. Um, not sure you can see that a little bit. This one has polka dots on it. I like that blue, that teal blue there. And here's the rainbows again. So many different ways to decorate and design these. Use your creativity and imagination. Okay, so now Miss Smith's going to start with a clean sheet of paper and you can follow along with me. So the things that you're gonna need are your pencil and um, a Sharpie. And this can be colored with markers or watercolors or anything. I just ordered these. These are um, by Tombow Dual Brush Pens. And it's really nice because they have a felt tip here, fine point. And then this is actually a brush tip, which is like painting with a marker. So I'm really excited to try these out. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna fill the space. So you want to draw as large as you, you possibly can. And, um, so watch me from, I usually try to tell you guys to make a point here, go across over here and make another point. And actually this is not going to be a straight line. It's going to be a very gentle sort of curved line. So I practice doing that. You know, I just practice. You can practice with your pencil. Don't push really hard. If you just take your pencil and drag it along very gently, it'll make it very light. So that way, if you have to erase later with an eraser, you can. So watch, I'm gonna go from this point, I'm just gonna curve it over, very gentle curve, and stop at my point. Very nice. Now this is gonna be the brim of the hat. So <clears throat> I'm gonna make a point down here, and I'm gonna make another point down here, slightly off, not perfectly straight, so I use my hands or you could use a ruler. So I'm just gonna turn it a little bit angled in and a little bit angled in over here. And now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do a gentle curve line right here. Gentle curve line, just gentle, gentle, bring it up. Now if you have to stop the video anytime to follow along, you can to sl slow, slow me down. Now the next step is the top of the um, 
of the sombrero. Now there's several ways you can do the top. You can do it like that, or when we get up here, we can kind of go dip down, kind of like an old cowboy hat. So I'm gonna try that for you to give you an option to do it the rounded way, like an upside down U, or kind of like a little bit of a mountain top at the top. So let's try that. So we're gonna, I'm gonna put a dot here, and I'm gonna go over here and I'm put another dot. And this is gonna kind of be the center of our sombrero top hat. So I go up here, go down and in, and then I'm gonna come down right here. Oh, I like that, that looks good. If you don't like it, you can always, you know, go back in with your pencil and erase and get the shape that you want. Um, remember, lines help us create shapes. And that's all that I'm doing is just a lot of lines. Now we're gonna make the inside of the hat by going from this point over to here. So here's a little dot. Here's a little dot here. Now I'm gonna go from this point and I'm just gonna connect the dots with a curved line. Here's my curve, here's my other curve from this point to this point. Now that's the inside of the sombrero. Now we've got this space to um, decorate. <clears throat> I've got some ideas I wanna pull from, etc. Now, on my sample, you'll see that I did those tassels. Here I did this hanging tassel one right here. You could start that there. You can also have them hanging down. So I'm gonna do the hanging down ones. And watch this. You could put a bunch of little circles together. These would be like little pom-poms. It's all across there. So this is more detailed than what we, what my samples were before. Because I'm giving you options and ideas for design. And designs are what really make it your own and creative. And then every, about every third one, I'm gonna hang this down. Three, make one, three, and that's creating a pattern. Every three circles I drop and I have a hanging tassel and it wiggles around, very nice. Every three. Oh, look at that, how'd that happen? Very nice, okay, very nice. Now, boys and girls, we're gonna try a new design inside of it. Let's see what I got here. Um, now this is kind of a cute idea too, is what if I put on some hot peppers? So I make hanging thing like this, and then I make a hot pepper. Kinda of goes along with our garden theme. So I'm gonna do a hot pepper there. I'm gonna do three hot peppers. So this hot pepper, and these hot peppers can be red and green. You could have two red ones and a green one. That would be kind of cool. Two green ones and a red one. Okay, let's see, let's go down. Like a hot pepper. And then, they also did, um, here's the other ones, these other kind of hot peppers. They're kind of rounded. And they could be yellow or any kind of pepper you want them to be. And now what you could do is you could do some, let's do some small triangles at the bottom. And just continues around to the other side. And you could put a circle inside there. You know, the ideas are just endless. So then, kind of up on the top up here, I'm gonna do a new design. I'm gonna kind of make it like up 
down, up, down, up, down. Then I'm going to go in there and make a double line. Up, down, up, down, up, down. And then in between here, I'll make some circles. Okay. And then maybe right here, I'm going to do three stripes. And these three stripes oh, are going to be, you know, green, white, and red. And that would be for my flag. Now, then inside here, we can do this. Little triangles in here, just for decoration. And that could be red, white, and green, or it could be rainbows. Anything you want it to be. So that is sort of one of the... Um, sombrero design. So you have this design, you have this design to look at, you could freeze the video right here, you could look at this one where I did the word Mexico, there we go. Okay, and then here is the final one that the kids did a few years ago, and this is where you can add in, you could add in some rickrack if you have some ribbon, if you have some puff balls, little pom-poms, you can put those in there. We had a little glitter, we put glitter up here. Anything you wanna to add to it to make it exciting, you can. Okay. Thank you, kids. I'll see you later. Maybe part two will be the colored part of this. Okay, bye-bye.